Hey guys, welcome to Powerline. I'm your host, Sky Knight, and today I have an updated build to my machining deck. Uh, like always, leave your comments in the below if you want to see us uh, do another profile on another deck of our choice, or simply comment of how to make our decks better. So, updated machining deck. So, as you guys may have known, last time when I played machining, I wasn't running static build, mostly because I was a deviant, and I didn't have it. But, with the new technical booster that came out, I am well equipped with all the tools to be a proper machining player. So, without further ado, let's get started. Bread and butter, stag beetle, four copies. Best card in the whole deck, gives you a soft plus two, as Kaiser has told me. Um, really great looking art. I, I kind of like this art more than the old one, but they're both really good. And my backup is Warsicle. Now a lot of you are like, why aren't you running the Legion? Why, why, why? And I'm like, it's a very good question. Um, well, I guess I, I couldn't find the actual Legion pair that I wanted, uh, the, the Legionnaire, I should say, that I wanted to use. And I still think that Warsicle is good because if for Stag Beetle, you get two cards. But if you're going into your stride turn, War Circle gives you one. If you use the Legion cards, you get zero. That's my rationale. <laughs> War Circle gives me at least one. The Grey Twos, solid. Uh, run Red Soldier, the 12k attacker. Run the Legion Mate for the new one. Mosquito Mark II. 9k attacker when it attacks uh, since I have a machining vanguard and all my opponents regards and vanguards are rested they gets plus 2 uh, plus 2k to the end of turn and if it hits I stun one of my opponents regards and stand one of my own this card's excellent I'm so mad at how good this card is and lastly guys I run three dive bombers or dive beetles now a lot of you are like why would you run such a crap card and Kaiser himself was just like, this card's butt. And I agree, this card is sort of butt cheeks. However, the ability to the ability to turn this card into a 11k attacker means that it can hit a Vanguard if they didn't get a trigger. As you notice, between Red Soldier and Mosquito Mark II, they both can hit uh, the at the base 11k attackers, which is something that this deck needs because it's kind of vanguard centric With your stride so definitely I understand that it can't stand but I should have I should have the counter blast to stand up all my uh, Die beetles and give them plus 2k in order for them to be monstrous. So that's why I run it at 3 Also also, hold on. Also, I could use this counter by sustained it, which means that I don't have to use a little B on it. Which means when I ride Stag Beetle and I call this card out and something else out, Stag Beetle can uh, stand the other unit out and this can stand itself. I call that winning. Great ones. Three stride enablers because you have to stride in this deck because that's where the, the most pressure comes from the stride. Next, I run four uh, perfect guards of the G ones because unflipping is always real with the SP kicking it classy. Next, I run three 10k attackers because real you gotta be real and I run four caucuses because the ability to stun your opponent's vanguard or uh, regards upon hit when this boost is so real I know the 6k might hurt it a bit however the ability is something that you just can't really deny 
for the stride units and the G Guardians. I'll start G Guardians first. Five. Three of the Scarabag, Scarabagus, Scarabagas, and two of the Grice for it. Now the reason why it's like this is you're most likely gonna get this ability out first. This comes this card is super useful, but you're not gonna be able you're not gonna be using that as often as you think. I'm not gonna be using it as often as I think. At least for me. It helps with the Murakumos, it helps with the Aqua Forces when they wanna give all those attacks and attack from the back row and stuff like that. So that card's very helpful, but you're not gonna go into it as much as you think you'd go into it. I run two of the generation rares because sometimes you're gonna have to play a little differently and the grand blues and the pound moons all with their weird attack patterns you're gonna have to play differently sometimes I think it's an excellent card one power spear because sometimes you need to just draw that extra card and they don't really have anything or you don't really have anything and you might just need that extra card Four Dark Faces, Shadow Paladins, any other clans that attach a Kaze that, you know, like to utilize their rare guards and also gives you power. Unfortunately, it doesn't, you have to, like, designate the cards that can't stand with your own effects. However, this makes it so they can't select it. And then, the best card for the whole deck. Destroyer. When you have four, Stunner Rear and Stunner Van. Best card, absolutely the best card in the whole deck. Uh, I can go into it, but really, that's it. And so you guys see, oh, hold on, wait. Uh, that's that. And then triggers. Little B. Four of this beautiful, beautiful heal trigger, absolutely gorgeous. Kinda, guys. I think I goofed a little bit. Yeah. Uh, four, eight, twelve. Uh, four, eight, twelve. Well, we'll just go with it. <laughs> I forgot to put it out. It's gonna be a ten crit, a ten crit, uh, two draw, four heal. And you guys are wondering now at the end, Sky, how come they're not in sleeves? Because this is not a deck that I'm playing at the moment, but I want to showcase it as well. Uh, the deck that I am placing, playing is Giraffa. That's why the, most of the strides are in sleeves and the machining. I'm playing Giraffa right now, but that's not here there. So this is actually going to be a 10 a ten crit, 2 draw, 4 heal build with Little Bia as a starter. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave it in the comment section below. If you have uh, anything that you guys would like me to profile, let me know also in the comment section below. You guys have a great day and be well.